doing today, YouTube? Deeski from Deeski Grills back with another cooking video. And today we'll be making pecan smoked St. Louis style spare ribs on the barbecue grill. So we're gonna do a little something different today. Um, as I showed you in the past, we know how we do these ribs. It's the three, two, one method. So that's three hours of hitting them with smoke, two hours of wrapping them, and one hour after taking the wrap off and letting them harden up on the grill. The difference that we're gonna to do today is we're gonna do a comparison. Since we have two slabs of ribs, I wanna test out the difference between foil that will wrap one slab of ribs for two hours, and what I just picked up from Amazon is butcher paper. That's what we'll wrap up the second slab. So what I've heard from uh, some other reviewers is that there is a big difference, and the difference is supposed to be that uh, foil steams the ribs, where butcher paper helps uh, maintain that bark that you've uh, developed for the first three hours. So looking forward to seeing the difference. I always use foil, so this is uh, a first for me. So we'll get a chance to figure this out and learn it all together, okay? Real fast, I'll show you some of the ingredients we'll be using for the ribs. One will be the parquet butter, another will be honey, and we will hit it with brown sugar. Uh, I'll take you down to the cutting board, I'll show you the rubs we'll be using as well. Hey, I want to thank you for joining me as always. We can figure out what's going on here today. Let's see what's going to be the best thing for these St. Louis style ribs. Let's get cooking. Okay, YouTube, let's start the marinade. So as you can see, what I'm doing now is removing the silver skin from the back of both of these ribs. So again, silver skin is that tough skin up under the bottom of the ribs that do no good for nothing. Uh, smoke can't penetrate, so we just get rid of that. So next we hit both sides with the AP rub and mustard. Okay, from there, these ribs will sit in the refrigerator for 10 to 12 hours. Next thing you see will be tomorrow when we start doing the final rub before they hit the grill. Okay, YouTube, it's time to hit it with the rub. This is day two, and all we're doing now is hitting it with the rub from GQ Barbecue. So I'm going to go uh, heavy on both sides of these ribs, and the plan is to let them sit and get up to room temperature uh, while we head out next and get our grill set up. So as you can see, that's what we're doing. We are going heavy with the rub on both sides. Then these rib ribs will just sit here and uh, get up to room temperature. I'm looking forward to this cook. You know when we put it on the grill, they will stay on there for three hours, then two hours, then one hour. It is the three, two, one method that we'll discuss throughout the cook. Hey, thanks again for joining me. Let's get cooking. Okay, YouTube, let's check out the grill setup. So what I have is a fire um, cube that I have lit in the center. We're going to use six chunks of pecan for this cook today. So this uh, is our low and slow setup where once the cube ashes over, it will come out slowly, start touching that wood and adding that smoke flavor uh, for the first three hours of the cook. So that's our setup. Stay tuned for the next step. Okay, YouTube, time to add the ribs. So as you can see, our grill reached 250 degrees, and now we're going to go ahead and add the ribs. So um, this will be the first three hours of the cook. So as part of the 321 method, we first hit it three hours with smoke, then we wrap them for two hours, and at that time we will wrap them in the foil with one rack and the butcher paper with the next rack. So I'm showing you now how we're getting them prepped up for the three hours. Next thing you'll see is the cutting board. Uh, where we're getting the wraps together and we'll do some discussion when we get to that point. Thanks for staying with me. Okay, YouTube, let's wrap the ribs. So what we're going to do is wrap one rack uh, with foil paper. So what I'm doing is adding uh, the ingredients that you're going to see, which will be the brown sugar. We will also add honey and then hit it with the parquet uh, butter spread. That's for the bottom of the ribs. Same thing for the top. Brown sugar, back with honey, and the parquet. Now we'll wrap these ribs up really good and get them set to the side. So next step we'll be doing the exact same thing with the butcher paper. Okay, YouTube, time to get them tender. 
So what we have now is the next process of the 321 where they will stay wrapped for two hours for tenderness. And after that, we'll only have one hour to go. We will unwrap the ribs, let them sit on the grill, and start saucing them up. So let's check this out. Okay, YouTube, one hour to go. So what I'm doing now is removing the ribs from the grill. We're going to go ahead and take the foil off the uh, one rack, add it back to the grill, and we'll do the exact same thing to the uh, butcher paper one. We'll remove the butcher paper from that rack, add it to the grill. So now we only have the one hour to go. I'll let them sit here for about 30 minutes and then we'll start saucing them up. Hey, stay with me. Okay, YouTube, let's sauce it up. Check out the bone that came off the one on the left. Those ribs are so tender. So what I'm doing is I flipped them over. I'm adding the sauce to the back side of the ribs. And from there, all I'm going to do is let them sit for 15 minutes. So that's what's going on behind the scenes now. So there being a sauce, they sit for 15. Now I flip them over. We're going to do the same to the other side. Sauce up the top of the ribs and let them sit for another 15 minutes. So as you can see, this cook is coming along well. Uh, we are pretty much done. I mean, they've rested for 30. Now they've been sauced 15 on one side, 15 on the other. So next step, we'll be pulling these off and getting ready to go to the cutting board. Okay, YouTube, they are finally done. So what I'm going to do now is take the one to the left, which if you remember, that is the one um, that was wrapped in foil. And we'll take the one on the right that was wrapped in butcher paper. We'll get them inside and get set up for the official taste tester, who will be my wife. Stay tuned. Okay, YouTube, which is which? So we're gonna get the answer to that now before I uh, call my wife down to do the pretty much blind taste test. So she doesn't know which one is which, but uh, as you can see, the bark are awesome on both of them. The one on, that I'm pointing to on the left is the butcher paper. The one on the right is the foil. So you can see they both look amazing. There may be more bark on the butcher paper on the left. But hey, we'll let her come down and tell us which one is best. And uh, that'll be the official taste test. Can't wait to see which one she chooses. Okay, you two, we are back. We have my official taste tester, my wife of 27 years, my high school sweetheart. And she is going to help us figure out which one is the best ribs. The ones wrapped in butcher paper or the ones wrapped in foil. How are you doing, honey? I'm well. Okay, you ready to taste these ribs? Yeah, something I like better than taste testing. Okay, so let's check it out. I'm gonna put the camera down and let you grab one so the viewers can see that. Hold on, please. I'm gonna put it down so they can watch you grab one and taste it, then we'll grab the other one. So let me put the camera down first. Okay, grab whichever one you want. I'll try this one. Okay. Now, you are tasting for texture and flavor. So you tasted that one. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you're gonna taste the other one. Okay, okay. put that down. You can taste that, see what you think. And then you'll have to grab the other one. So I'll let you chew a little bit, put it on you for a while while you're enjoying it. So these again are the St. Louis style ribs. So you're gonna grab the other one now. Okay. Okay, and that is the other one. So, what YouTube and myself, everyone else around the world wants to know is, can you tell a difference? If you can, then uh, I will put it back down and you let me know which one has the best flavor and texture. You have to pick one. That's what we're gonna go off of. Now I'm gonna put it down and you point to the one you think is best. Okay, I'm gonna have to be honest. Okay. As far as texture and uh, tenderness, they're both equal. And I have to be honest to say that they both taste great. I'm having a hard time making a decision and I'm being honest. I'm trying to figure out, mm, I, I may have to try again. Let me try on the left one more time. Just be happy. I think she's just enjoying these ribs, you too. Okay, okay. Okay. That's the one on her left. Mm -hmm. okay. And now the one on her right. Mm. 
Okay, that did it. Definitely. Let me see. You just tell me which one. You can point to it. Right here. You can know why. Which one? Right here. There's more flavor. There's a lot. There, there, there's, there's more flavor. As far as tenderness and um, a good rib, they're, they're both great. But after the second taste testing between the both of them, this one has more flavor. Clearly has more flavor. Awesome. I want to thank you for your testing. Uh, this is my taste tester again. And guess what she picked you to? She picked the butcher paper. So, butcher paper. Thumbs up for butcher paper. Maybe the way to go going forward. I want to thank you as always for joining D-Ski Grills. If you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. And as always, at D-Ski Grills, grilling is not a pastime. It's a passion. See you again. Thanks, YouTube.